Welcome back for another video. I'm just gonna shoot another one while I'm out here on the soccer field. So uh, here's the deal. What to do if you have a shitty boss? A boss that just, you know, you don't like that person for some reason and they're just, they're just not the, the, the type of person that that uh, that you like being around, you know. It's it's something that that uh, you don't feel like going to work because you don't want to deal with this person. How do you get over that, and how do you deal with it? Okay. The first and obvious answer is go find another job. Okay. But that's not the best answer. It's also not the easiest to just get up and go find another job, as you know, okay? So, one of the things that your second option to deal with it, okay, is to, well, let, me, let, let me tell you the worst thing to do, and that's to be a kiss ass. Believe it or not, if you think that getting ahead by kissing ass is going to help you, uh... I'm sorry to tell you that that just is not going to work, okay? Um, in fact, the opposite is true. What you need to do, number one, is you need to be the best version of yourself that you could be, okay? You need to be a badass employee, number one, because you have to show up to work. And when you show up, I mean not physically show up, but you need to be there, be present, know how to do your job, do it well, get along with your team, do whatever you have to do, okay? And just show up 100% and 10x. And 10x means that you've gotta do 10x levels of work. So that's number one. Number two, you need to have a huge amount of confidence in yourself and what you're doing. Because if your boss figures out that you've got no confidence, uh, they're going to read right through you and they're going to just step all over you and treat you like crap. Okay? So you really need to build up a lot of confidence in yourself as a person and then in the job role that you're in. You need to feel confident about what you're doing. Number three, you need to stand up for yourself. And don't be a wuss. Okay? Don't let people walk all over you, especially the boss. You need to show that you are not just a peon in the workplace. Even though they may think that you are, because there are some there are some bad bosses, okay? But that's even more reason for you to stand up for your right and put your chest out. Don't be afraid to do that. There's so many people in the workforce that are just scared shitless of their boss that they're going to get fired if they open their mouth and stand up for themselves and their team, no less, okay? they rather just sit back in the corner and not say anything and get stomped all over because they're afraid of negative consequences. So you need to be able to step up Speak your mind when you need to, as long as you've got something to back it up, okay? You need to be, you need to be on top of it. So if you're going to speak up about something, you better have proof that you've done the work. So if they're accusing you of something or they're on your back or they don't agree with something that you're doing or a plan, a project plan that you've got laid out or whatever, if it's something that they are giving you a hard time about, you need to be able to speak up about it and justify your actions. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not they end up agreeing with you, the fact that you stood up like a man, okay? And even if you're a woman, okay? You could do the same thing. You need to you need to puff your chest out just as hard as they do and show them that you are valuable as a you are a valuable asset to that company and they don't need to be treating you like that all right so those are the three main things that you could do 
when it comes to having a shitty boss. And, you know, let me just throw in that attitude is also a big factor, okay? Um, I know that in IT, there's, there's a lot of frustrations, there's a lot of stress that goes on in certain atmospheres, and, and there's a lot of attitude. And I'm not saying good attitude, there's a lot of crappy attitudes out there just because people are just beyond overwhelmed, they're stressed out, and you know, they're just not happy. So what you need to do is you need to find a better attitude, okay? Even if everyone else has a crappy attitude, you need to do something different and go against the grain and be a little bit more positive. Try to be as positive as you can towards your work, towards life, because ultimately, you know, attitude is everything. And, you know, I'm not saying that to be fluffy about anything. It's the absolute truth. And I've had to learn that. I've suffered my whole life. Um, you know, being around negativity. I grew up around a lot of negativity and I had to learn to become a more positive person. And, you know, it's something that's that's continuous. Uh, it, it's a continuous practice for me to do that. And so I'm encouraging you to change your attitude as well. And, uh, you know, it will definitely help that relationship with the boss. And, you know, the end result is just become you know, get on good terms with that person. Now, there are some people that that's going to be impossible because they're just as miserable as as you guys. And we lost some lights. I hope that doesn't affect this video. Um, you know, they might be just as dissatisfied as you with their job, and so their attitude is shit as well. So sometimes, you know, it's not going to work out, but you know. Those are just some suggestions that you could do to help you out um, in that situation. So hopefully that helps you. Wish you all an awesome day. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Click the link below if you haven't done that yet. And uh, let me get you on my email list and I'll send you a free resource guide as well. So um, love to hear your comments below questions, anything like that, let me know. We'll talk to you on the next video. See ya.